Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next after this. Hey everybody, welcome back to another game of the NBA playoffs. There's only two games of game four left before we head over to game five. See you for next time in between those two. The Phoenix Suns and the Jazz are ready to do it again. This time at Utah once more for game four. And we're all ready to get set things on the line. To the courtesy of this one, Mephone will be here for the last game, here for the Warriors and the Grizzlies here at Chase Center. The next one commentator that we will be able to pick things up here, it will be OJ and Fan, along with the group here of Paintbrush. This is about to be a happy thing, so we can definitely try things on. And this time, they're at Vivint Smart Home Arena. Now let's get started for game four of this matchup. OJ, guys, it's all yours. Take it away. And here are the top plays. We have his Youngblood 240. In between, a boom with the block. Letter B. We have who? There's who. This calls for CQ. That's who. Making this our second booking. Number C. Letter C. We have is AW the president. And here's what happens here. We got. This all goes with a shot. I know what you're thinking. There might be something more that you wanted to go for. And last but not least, letter D, we have it all right down for your choice. It's Alexander Lutz. Pop that, and what is this? No way. i never seen that one. Wow. So, make your selections here if you're on NBA 2K22. So choose anything that you want to choose. Your call. Leave a comment down here below which one is your favorite. Everything will be right down in the description here for you. And now let's catch you up in the game to get started. Guys, take it away. I ain't need no commentary. If you the competition, you gon' get buried. I don't cheat on the game, we get married. Yo, they gon' know me as legendary. Yeah, when it stands, I ain't need no commentary. Yeah, ain't no option, need no secondary. Yeah, I'm just throwing out like a Hail Mary. Oh, Mary. Hello everyone, here at Utah of Salt Lake City. This is about to be happening here for Game 4. Along with me, I'm definitely being here so long right now. And we're about to be here playing here at the Vivid Smart Home Arena. Along with the games that we broadcast. OJ, Paintbrush, and fans. And right now on the sideline reporter, it will be Allie LaForce. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, take, take it away. Hey, Brian. Devin Booker finally playing winning basketball in Phoenix. He said, quote, this city deserves it. I've been here grinding, trying to get to this point. The team and the culture that we have, this is the best position that we've been in since I've been here to make those dreams come to life. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's see. pretty awesome out there. Thanks, Sally. And with all the crews right there, we've got some, a lot of uh, important noticing that the courts has changed and the uniform is completely different. What is your status here, and how will they get better at it? I think my better solution here, I might be going for a different idea, the key of the situation. There might be something going on. I think the Utah Jazz will definitely uh, try to answer it back right away. I'm definitely unsure about that one. There is some other uh, opponents that can definitely try to wrap things down on the board. But no matter what, there might be some other timing that can go for a bye bye. I have to say, Utah and Phoenix are very a good team, but I have to go with Phoenix. I'll see how well they can do if they can try to fix things up. 
The ball is tipped away and they're all ready to go here for the fourth game of the playoffs. They're in the starting groups here as shooting guard of small forward is Royce O'Neal. Donovan Mitchell in the point guard of shooting small forward McDonovich, point for O'Neal. And it's Gobert with the center and Mike Conley in point guard. Starting off is Mike Conley. Six to shoot. The drive in front, the fouls picked up on DeAndre Ayton, his first first team foul. That was the toughest of one, you know, a disaster that goes for. In the uh, attacking zones, it looks like a team really wants to have it all, right in the game, to take it all their way. And the first free throw attempt here for the Utah Jazz will be picked up here from Mike Conley to pick things up. Here, just only 4.30 left to go. First free throw sent to it. As you can definitely tell that Mike Conley has it all inbound to keep an eye on the uh, coverage. What does it take here for Mike Conley to become a uh, pro legendary players? The pro legendary players are always a tough one to make a decision here. My choice for Mike Conley is just going to uh, be a very hard making on the ball. By the time the moment he gets there, it may be a tough one to try to keep an eye on. I'm hoping there should be a good one here too. And you for view paintbrush? Well, it's kind of tough, but uh, but the real situation, I might have to bring things back here just a minute, and there might be someone that we're changing if we have a chance now for Mitchell and the other teams to try to make them score and run pay to pay right in each teams. We're unsure what's going to happen. Well, we might find out. It is a choice. Mitchell right to go there. Fades off and up, over Booker, that's good! Rudy Gobert gets his first bucket in the game. And this one is a 4 nothing game in game 4. You talk about that one, high flying stats. Oh, get it out of here! Rudy Gobert denies the shot on DeAndre Ayton. He is high flying on the uh, defender. Get the ball out of here, knock it down. Hey, you shoot that thing out of the way here, you get him out of here. Says, shoot that fly down. That's a two-pointer here for Donovan Mitchell. This one will be a second bucket here for tonight. Right now, Chris Paul on Mike Conley. He goes right inside, in right around it. Bridge on Conley. Just three, 16 left to go here in the first period. He just off the ball in the corner, five to shoot. Takes a two. That bucket will send in here as right now it's a 6 2 game. Now and they're on the board. You talk about Chris Paul. His moment of that one calls for a CP3. And that was going to be his lonely lucky time if he would like to see Chris Paul again with uh, with James Harden. That might be the best idea we can have in a reunited again. O'Neill on the goal bridges. Five to shoot. Mitchell. Right and over is McDonough with the two. That gets off target and that will be off the bound of the game. You can't go wrong because that was a very toughest one to try to knock them down. The first foul is called on Royce O'Neal, his first personal first team foul. And that will be fouled on McCall Bridges taking two shots here at the free throw line. And this one was a very tough one at the angle. And the upper corner of the can, that may be a very tough shot angle. And you're not going to do you're not going to keep an eyes on the, uh, on the player. You need some high rabbit here and try to not recheck the ball right away. And it's too hard. It went too far. It didn't go well. Two shots coming up here from McCall Bridges. Only 2.30 left to play in the first period. The first free throw is shot went in. You're telling me that when McCall Bridges gets better at that point, you know, he was definitely going to get that right into his attention. In the moment of that time, it may be a very tough one to give that one a credit. The second free throw for McCall Bridges is good. The Jazz lead by two. 
Now Conley goes off to McDonovich. Rolls over to Mitchell. Now he rolls back to Conley. Conley taking a little time off here and scanning the floor. Here finds McDonovich. Excellent D on Devin Booker. Devin Booker was going to get there in time. Now he knows it's for sure. Jake Crowder delivering the feed, and now it's the book, Devin Booker with the assist. They're all going everywhere. They might be showing you how it's done. Oh! <laughs> wow, my goodness. That Donovan Mitchell draw was like out there. He says, I'll take note for one. You can never go wrong with this guy. Donovan Mitchell was just a fan, fan, fan. Biggest uh, pro moment here to try to pick him up. And Chris Paul delivers an odd number drive here for the Suns. Timeout has been called here for Utah Jazz. A minute and 41 to go here in the first period of the game. We love to see how this one all turns out. The Jazz really got it all started here and they have already got just gotten a lot bashed out here, here in the first season here against the OKC Thunders. So we have already seen here the last time here in the 2020 season, and that was the only one that happened here before. How does it usually take here to get on the single run of a digit? Well, the single run of a digit was going to be a very tough one to try to uh, mix it in place. All of a sudden, because uh, the, the teams are going to be a very hard, uh, disappointing effort here, it's going to be a mess here because the franchise player, Russell Westbrook, he was the only one that wants to, like, like sweep things all and then take the, uh, take the offensive zone and the crash inside. For me, my own esteem, I would have brought Rudy Gobert here, and sometimes that Gordon Hayward was definitely here for the first season. He could have had a chance to get right into that, into the front. The new changes are being switched here for the Giants and the Suns as Rudy Gay is checked in. All five players come off the court, all five players come on the court. Johnson, Craig, McGee, Bridges, and Payne are checked in. And for Mitchell, or it's O'Neal, Pogdanovich, and Gobert, Whiteside, Pascal, and Clarkson are checked in, also along with Gay. Pascal over Johnson, his first bucket goes right in there. That will be his first bucket of the night. Take a look at that feed. Now you're going to call that one a bigger moment here to try to like fix that one attack. Johnson finds pay. Three pointer for Bridges. That goes way open downtown. This one reaches up for lead by one. Now, lead by one is just only the way that gets that one a trophy to give that one a perfect credit. Punch it for three. This first rebound is off a wide awake here. Went too far. Bridges in the attack. Rolls over to Bro Payne. Payne for three. That good, and this one goes up 5 3 to 4. In between the uh, attacking zones, they're never going to like fix things up again. They got to like go for a different plan. Brunson finds Whiteside. Whiteside inside. The two pointer can't go in. McGee takes his first rebound, and now it's Dorian Craig. Now he gets off the pay. Moves over to Bill McGee. That's a good TD here for Hassan Whiteside. Whiteside really knows his way. Clarkson in the attack. Look out! The Jim has put up a dunk for Clarkson. Clarkson, you really got to show that one move. I have never seen it sub down go longer. The first quarter has come to an end as the Suns lead by two. It's 14-12. Second quarter will be coming up right after the break. Don't go anywhere. We got more underway. With anything, uh, whether it's business, work, relationships, whatever, it's communication. And I think that's something that we're doing an amazing job of right now. And that's communicating, talking through things, and making sure, even when it gets tough, that we continue to communicate. You always got to know about the importance of this teammate who has really gotten some great authentic out there. All because of what that Chris Paul really got started so far. He might be burning one of his particular time. And you're telling me that when this was all that Chris Paul had to do his work on his ability, sometimes his limit is no stress. Wow, Gay really got a great dunk out there, and he's got one. 
Yeah, you definitely got to know that Rudy Gay was going to hit that down. Sometimes Rudy Gobert wants to see that one too. In the starting lineups of the food up, Gatorade all filled up for the second quarter. As Shaman is right here in the shooting guard. It's JaVale McGee in the center. Cameron Johnson here in a small four. And Torian Craig here around here in the point forward. And now, along with the other hand, McCall Butchers here in the small four. Alexander Walker, he dishes off to Barrett Crasco. Now he moves over to Gay. Gay moves back in Clarkson. Try to help out the screen, but now he finds Basha. Conley, deep three. That goes off target, now of nowhere. Craig taking the rebound. He finds the floor, trying to scan around the room. Make sure he's not going uh, off the target. McGee on Clarkson. In pushing P, look at this drive. This was the toughest one that they got in control. They really got a something going on. They got someone to get under the top, man. They need somebody to try to stop them down. Timeout call by Utah Jazz, as this one will be reached up with 3.33 left to go. Now, what you're talking about here, it's, uh, it's one of the uh, bestest players that they need something else here to try to work things up here in the bus. Sometimes I, I gotta go for it here is, is Rudy Gobert. Because of uh, how well he has done, and maybe his moment of time needs from his skills, he might need something else to try to like pick him up here from a half court of a range. It may be very tough for them, but for Kyle, Kyle Corker or anybody, well, eh, it's very that tough. To be honest, it's most of the opinions that they have. New changes coming in here for the Jazz and for the Suns as Royce O'Neal is checked back in. Meanwhile, on the other side of it right now is all five players are checked out. And two players, one player checked still and on the court for Shevin. And right now on the other way as all players checked out as Pascal moves over to point forward. And Alexander Walker back in small forward. O'Neal trying to pick it up, but the two-pointer won't count. The Buckets are having some hard times out there. They need some help. They gotta get right under it. They better, they better be ready. Gobert! Look down with that block! Says, no shot given for you! O'Neal outside. Now they're all chanting, let's go Jazz Champ! Let's go, back to Mitchell. Mitchell off for three. With no room, he makes the three-pointer. Here down by two. Only 2.35 left to go here in the first half. Booker finds Shaman. Shaman moves over to Crowder. Crowder right on Pasco. Booker on O'Neal. Within the paint, inside the middle. That goes off the target as Rudy Gobert takes the, takes the rebound. His own average may be a very uh, uh, tough about to understand the moment of the player that gets him off uh, motivation. Motivation really needs um, some help here. And the moment of that time, you're going to need something else to try to create more strength. <laughs> Only two minutes left here in the first half of the game, and another two reaches up for the Suns. Just trailing by four. Here's Mitchell. Two knocks in the wall. Here lifts us up a launch out. Says lift it up. I'm coming in. Mitchell was all out there. Now you see that coming. More than I felt. What a great way to make that one a drive. Always a smooth dunk. And again, a bad defensive breakdown here for Utah. As this one keeps it alive. Now Gobert tries again. Now he goes over to Pasco. Right outside is Alexander Walker. This is back to Royce O'Neal. Fade back over to Pasco. Back to uh, O'Neal. Cut and drive. This one's off the target. Now for Booker will go back in the offensive attack. Up and over. That's a great feed off by Booker, and it's Andrew. The Andrew with the with the slam on the bound. 
The alley -oop successful was going to be another one to try to stop them. And Pasco delivers a serve revenge. This one now is to be his second bucket of his night. Second bucket of the night he called for. Eric Pasco. Now without the Warriors, they are just trying to uh, defend it to try to make a big champ. Booker, right on Mitchell. Making it side in here, ball. A deliver of two. Gives him up a great moment feed by Devin Booker. Devin Booker was going to give that one a roughy credit. Most of his rules, he got a great open look. Mitchell outside. Dishes off into Pasco. Now the cutting will come in for Gobert. And Gobert will try to reset it all over. O'Neal outside. Rudy Gobert with the screen. Time running out. We got it up by Aiden. And that will end the first half here. Phoenix Suns 27 and Utah Jazz 21. Well, it's a tough one to make it that last, but we'll be right back with the break after the halftime show. A wacky run may have called it for something else. I really have seen something going on right now. Let's have a recap look here one more time for the Suns and Jazz. This one rise up here for the first half update. That's all for now. Let's head you back over to Vimex Marshall Marina to start the third quarter. And if you're tuning us in here for this part of the game, we got the third quarter game ready to start the action. In between the zone and the attackers, there's one thing that we call for Donovan Mitchell here for his best time authority. The only question that concerns us here is that Donovan Mitchell was going to get there right in the, in the slot. Most of the time really gives him a great opportunity here to give that one a good worthy note. Now is the moment of time with the team that's going to uh, limit his effort. Now he will start things off here for the third quarter. Glad you have us with us here back right now as we get started here for the third quarter. In between the zones and the attackers here, as they are all fueled up for Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go here for the second half. Royce O'Neal takes a good end drive, and now he gets his first book of the night. All quiet out there, now he's ready. Mitchell on Booker, right over to Paul. He dish up to here, and the alley who went successful. And O'Neal coming down past break. This one carries off too short here for Mike Conley to pick up. Way off. It's not going to be that easy to try to work him out that run. And Crowder was delivering a dunk. Wow. Jazz, trail by six. McDonough outside. Goes right back to O'Neal. Gives it off to Conley. Jazz are making another new screen protection here to try to work their up. And for protection of Rudy Gobert, it's Conley with the drive. It's four points, second bucket. Now here's Chris Paul, covered up by Conley. Trying to put up a uh, ankle moment here. Double man on him. Booker outside. He finds Carter. With the round move, Packer, and this one carries off in between. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Now he goes right to O'Neal. O'Neal inside, count it and one! McCall Bridges takes his foul, and Royce O'Neal gets his second bucket. What a forceful drive moment. You feel that the heat was like the only pressure. What a communication, what a sprint. That is the ultimate man that you give it eyes on. This one's like a, was like a keeper player in this house. Everybody wants to keep Royce O'Neal. One shot coming up here for O'Neal as it's down to three, 17 to go. Looking for a chance to trail by one. Oh. 
And that does it here for a uh, one free throw of the line. Suns in still in lead. Payne on Kim Mike Conley. Trying to work his way around with the attack. Are you? Unsuccessful, but this will happens to be a goaltending on his own white side. It was too close, but all of a sudden it was too late. It's not going to work because if all that happens, if it goes inside the box, well, that does definitely call a goaltending. Goal Bogdanovich moves over to a small forward as, as the air player is checked out of Voice O'Neill. Now Gay inside. Gay goes over to Ian Craig. That gives him a good look here as Gay picks up his second bucket. The delivery fee may be a little bit tough one. We might have to go for another uh, key info to make the attack even more, increasing the scores back on the game. It can be tough, but don't be fooled. That is going to be a hard on chopper. Bridges on Clarkson. Three to shoot. With the shot, Bridges. That goes off the target, and that is Gay with the rebound. Now Whiteside over to Clarkson. They're moving it back to Whiteside. The ball is tipped away and steal by Payne. McCall Bridges, only two minutes left here in the third. And Bridges slams down. We've got a one more look here. Oh my, you're not going to believe that one. One in that dunk, says pull it up, pull it down, and that makes a slap. This round was a top playing in between. Wow, man. And that was your amazing performance of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. What a performance right here for McCall Bridges. McDonough to tie it. That's good outside of the range. This one gives up the three points for McDonough's first bucket here in the first two second half. Johnson on gate. Now he moves over to McGee on the right side. With the open look, he rejected by Gay. And Rudy Gobert didn't see that one. That JaVale McGee was making a number two pointer. This was always tough for him to try to make them slow down. Conley went to Gay. He moves back to Whiteside. Whiteside. With the fade, almost got ejected, but it was Johnson with the steal. 2 on 1. It's rebounded by Clarkson. Clarkson is picking up his moment out there. He has one first rebound here and a rebound. Now he wants to give it off to Gay. 40 seconds left here in the third quarter. Finds McDonovich over Craig. That gives him a good feed of a layup. They're now tied up once again. All I have even for line, all for all. Might be another one to try to like go for heavy to take the lead over it. Johnson blocked the pass. Johnson finds Bridges, five to shoot. Screen for two. That goes in and up. White side up. Now McDonavich. And McDonavich going for two. He makes the buzz beer. Wow, you gotta believe this guy. McDonavich was a true man he gets in. That's what all I count for. What a show here for McDonough. And the lead is picked up here for Jazz. 37 to 35. The fourth quarter is coming up. What do we take a quick break after this? And a moment now to release the State Farm assist of the game. You can definitely tell that one here. Yeah, the Jazz has already gotten into a great feeding communication. A perfect run for O'Neill. And that drive was the only key to succeed here for Mike Conley. Interesting to me now, Mike Conley is looking for a chance to stick with the Jazz here for the next season. I'm thinking they're going to keep him for one of his best favorites here, one of franchise players in between. The fourth quarter is about to be set here as we're all fueled up and we are ready to go for the last quarter in game four. Rudy Gobert dishes off to Conley. Moves it over to Bogdanovich. 
Bogdanovich rolls back to Gobert. Just four on the shot clock. Gobert with a two. That goes in there! What a shot by Gobert! He is the kill out there. Might show something out his might be a complication that gives him up a good strength. Johnson on Pascal. Gives it up to Crowder. Crowder on. Now it's Booker outside. Booker coming in. The two pointer up. That gives him a good feed, and this one comes down by two. Devin Booker really got something else out there. Might be uh, lucky enough to go with the lucky luck numbers. In between the picks, really does stand out. Might be something else that can keep an eye on. And Pascal delivers a layup drive. Another assist here for the Jazz. Now here's Booker. The team is trailing by four. And Booker go up. The floater goes off the target. And a great feed off here for Ian. He picks it up at number two pointer. They're coming down quick by two. This was a very tough one to make that transition in a, a quick moment. Now you need something else to try to stop them. Ashkel outside. 3.15 left to go in the fourth quarter. Conley up. Two pointer fade. Delivers it up front. Now this one goes for six points for Mike Conley. They really got some a lot of good average out there. And there's something to show what they were looking for. And something for everyone? <laughs> well, that's just a tough one to give that one a, a, a try. We call that one. Whoa! Donovan Mitchell, you see that one, he is slamming. Says, so long there players, I've got some high average. Wow, you, you got a bit sore and high out there. <laughs> well, what a great, uh, great job for my time to Donovan Mitchell. He a high flying sorcerer. Devin Booker in at number two. The timeout will be called by Utah Jazz. This one's going to be a very tough game to go in between 45-41 as Phoenix is trailing by four. This one is a lot a tough one to get up in a worthy trap. And I don't know what to tell you this one. This was a very uh, tough one to try to knock things down. So I have nothing else to say about them, but they, there's something else that I wanted to tell you about. Those players are very high on the market. They got a lot of them they want to try to uh, make them more in the touch to make them have even more pressure than they have them along the board. You can definitely uh, tell that one. I got your brushes. I got your words here for you, Big Brush. And you know who's going to try to come back in there? Uh, why not with the Utah Jazz? They got some, a lot of great skills in between there. They try to tie the series things up. Maybe where you want to go for it again. Well, let's see how well we can do. Maybe something else that can go from the in-between shots. New group substitution here, and we are checking out the state for New Balance player of the game. In game four, it's Chris Paul. CP3 really knows this thing. And with the early release pick, well, I'll definitely tell you what. It was too short. I don't know what to tell you this one, but it really does stand out to me. Progress. Ain't the my only source full time. Mike Conley, wow, no foul given up by DeAndre Ayton. This one was too much to go right from here. You tell me, and Mike Conley was definitely going down on the floor. But there, but there could have been the whistle gear, that could have been the foul. But the referee has no regression to take that one. And Rudy Gobert, three blocks in a row. Wow. He is delivering a fire of pressure here. Now Rudy Gobert will take this screen and we'll have a look here. Now it's O'Neal. From the truck, inside, goes in! It's O'Neal, seven points in the bucket. Over McCall Bridges with a tying score. This one can be the next one to try to determine it. Ball on Mike Conley. The screen is projected. Alley oop, and definitely got it in. This one's too easy. All the traffic at once here, not because of the uh, DeAndre Ayton was going to try to stop one. 
Now there is no change up. In neither way, they really have something else to try to make them pay for to help them slow down and try and regain momentum. O'Neill loses the ball. It's Booker with the seal. Last break. Here we go. Bridge out. Three pointer carries in. Now they're coming back in down by three. They really got to step it up right now. They are all tired and can't be losing the trunk. Gobert right back to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich up for three. Watching his right and it's a rebounded up by Bridges. He was too high, too quick on the move. He made something else to try to stop the man and go from pressure in being all alone. That may be too much for him to try to release it. Oh, Crowder really got to slam that down. That really does stand out. Now Conley, this is back to Bogdanovich. Rolls over to Gobert. Bogdanovich outside. Now he rolls back to Conley. And in the corner right now, Bogdanovich to Mitchell, three! And it's off the target! The timeout has been called by Phoenix with only 10.4 seconds. They both teams have one timeout left here before the end of a game of regulation. This period could be going for a lengthy bolting range. There might be something going on. They need something to go by. The quick movement they have here, the quick that they need to try to sprint their way into the game. They need something else to try to stop them by. And then without taking too much pressure, all they need to do is try to knock them down. Coming up next for the last game of game four, it will be the Warriors and the Grizzlies here as Meat Phone and Silver Spoon will be on the sidelines standing by here at Chase Center. They got a lot of great feeds in between, and with all with the other crew, with the team members here, we got a lot of stuff here trying to uh, finish off the run. We got a lot of them handling up here the pressure. Now for the last change up here, they wanted to try to wall things up for you and ultimate on their side. They got to get right into it. They got to give it all they've got. Now the decision is made, and just right about now. Now for Chris Paul, outside the range. Has a chance, three for Bridges. He makes it in! Timeout called by Utah Jazz. One more chance left here for the Jazz. They need something else to try to like take their attack moment and try to pick their run up. They need something else to try to like pick up the run and they need all they have down here before. Man, this was like the only pressure they had. They are losing their stuff. It looks like the Jazz could go for the win here. If they want to win the third game to fourth, well, they need to get louder and prouder to have it all down. The comparison for team of each one is only three blocks for the Utah Jazz of Rudy Gobert and three steals for the Suns. Only three turnovers on the Jazz and one for the Suns. 17 assists for the Jazz and 13 for the Suns. And 14 was Eva. A Eva in between. Let's see if the Jazz can win or not. Decision starts right now. This will be it. Let's see what happens right now. This could be the it. Mitchell for the win. He makes it in. Wow, Mitchell, the dominant crusher. And they have the lead up by one. Wow, you got it all down there. This was all that does turn out like they did before. Mitchell, the star. The last timeout has been called by Phoenix Suns as they will talk things over here before the shot clock and the game clock expires. Only four seconds remains. Here at just about that time, they need something else to try to work their way around here in order to make the run. Well, you definitely call that one here. The Jazz looks like they're like, they've already won in game two, and I think their even games can be just like that. When they are going for another switch off in particular range, you know, I definitely have it all counted out.
Well, I think this would be the uh, win here for the Utah. I think we're going to see what they can do. The last one for the Suns. Coming down the wire in three, two, one. And now it's time to see if it's a make or miss. Here we go. Hey, right, let's get this on the road, folks. We got it all down. Carter, Hooker for the win. Oh, my! The official review has been taken over here as they are looking it over again. Let's see if the bucket counts or not. Well, we gotta hold up on that one here. They got something else here to try to make that one a spectacular play. And here's how the official has reviewed. Let's see what the time comes down. And this one is... No! It was too late! It was a late call on that one. I gotta agree because of that one, the game is already over. In between the your votes out there, the game is over. And it's gonna be a series tie. So I think that's a Jazz winner. And this one is going for a win here. And it won't stand out for the Suns. The Jazz comes back in to win the game. It's 52 51. Wow. What a great matchup in between. I'm definitely telling you that one here. They have gotten a lot of great numbers here. We all called out the buzz beater to call of Donovan Mitchell. What a shot. And for call losing out here for Son of Beast, this has been a presentation of the NBA Western Conference of the semifinals. The last game will be happening here with the Warriors and Memphis Grizzlies. And now we take you over to Son of Beast to close the game. Beast, all yours. Have a good night here in Utah. All right, guys, thank you very much for your all for the time. What a fantastic show of it. And this game was a believer here for this ultimate court. And now we bring things off here to finish off here for the three star players of the game. First up, we have number three. All turned out to be just like they did here before. We have one. Mike Conley receives eight points, one rebound, and five assists in this game. Only 18 performance run has given up without a significant risk succeed to make it the best of the last. Number two, this one goes over to McCall Bridges. 13 points, three rebounds, one assist, and only made one dunk performed. He knows that one already, but got in a lot of situations that wants to like keep it going out as possible. It really does stand out. And for number one, the game winner, Donovan Mitchell. 14 points, 1 rebound, and 2 assists. That will be the your game winner here for tonight in Game 4. What a show. And 3 dunks has already performed here, here on the court. Without any other concerns here, that is going to be the end here for Game 4 of Jazz and Suns as they will return back to the other lane here, right back at Phoenix, Arizona. I'm your host, Son of Beast. And we'll see you all for the last game here of the Golden State Warriors and Memphis Grizzlies here at Chase Center. And with that being said, thank you for watching with us. And peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA playoffs of 2K22 dial. Have a good night, folks. And see you all for the last game.